Hey guys, Greg Etuno here. This is a how-to video on the installation of the Simpson Strong Tie CJT3S. It is a concealed joist hanger for a beam or rafters. This is what it looks out of the box. It attaches to the ledger with the SDS screws that are supplied with it, as well as uh, steel pins to connect it to the rafter. First step in the installation is to cut a kerf in the end of your beam and for that you have to use a beam saw, something with a 10 inch blade so you get a cut depth of at least 4 inches for it to fit right in there. Next step is to route the end of your rafter. You can either route the end of your rafter or you can route the hanger into your beam. That is too loud for the thickness of the plate as well as the thickness of the head of the SDS screws. We did this one freehand with a router or you can make a template. Next step is to drill the sides of the rafter for inserting the steel pins. That is what is going to uh, connect the rafter to the hanger. Now this has to be precisely done so that it uh, facilitates the installation. So you have to take your time and measure it right and drill it as straight as possible so that you don't have to fight those when the beam is up overhead. Um, in this case, the hanger comes with three pins. We are only using two of them because this is a very light load. It is only a lattice patio cover. You can see him marking the holes. We are using plugs to uh, conceal those holes, those pins. That's why we're drilling three quarter inch holes first, about three quarter inch deep. And then we are drilling half inch for the steel pins, almost all the way down, right before uh, it comes out the other side. It helps to have a longer drill bit for that so you make sure you're straight. Here he is attaching the hanger to the uh, ledger with SDS screws that has to be precisely measured as well to make sure that the rafter lands exactly <clears throat> where you want it. These are the brackets installed. Okay, next you have to put the rafter up. For that you have to install the top pin into the top hole and then slide it onto the, the um, metal hanger and you can see you can kind of wiggle it out uh, with an angle and then drop it in there. If you measured right and drilled straight, it should fit pretty easily. When it's in there, you can lock it in by inserting the pins. And um, there you have it. This is what it looks like all done. So the only thing that you see is uh, the kerf cut at the bottom of the rafter. You can cock that. We left that one like that because this we used the stain on this one. Here's the patio cover done. <clears throat> Here's a couple of uh, details, joinery details that we did on this patio cover. And that's about it. I hope this was informative. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or comment below.